editing in Fortnite is without a doubt one of the most critically important aspects. Aside from building and aiming, editing is necessary to throw off opponents and for making sick plays. That's why it is very important to edit effectively and quickly. Two of the best editors in the world also happen to be some of the best Fortnite players in the world, go figure. These players are Raider464 and Serpent AU. Let's take a look at both of them and break down everything that makes them so good at editing. And finally, we're gonna be going over what we believe is the best editor in the world. Are you ready for that? That's exciting. These two are both phenomenal players, so it's gonna be a close one, but there's no doubt in our minds that they both have contributed considerably to the history of editing in Fortnite. What's going on, guys? It's the Motivation Guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Look, I don't know what's coming against you. You might be feeling low right now. You might be feeling down right now. But I want you to visually, like, imagine the things that are coming against you. And I want you to say, I can do it. Come on, let me hear you say it. I can do it. And you know what? You can do it. You're going to be successful. This is going to be the best season, the best year of your life up to date. Are you ready for that? Because I'm believing in you, man. You're going to do great, great things, all right? Keep going. Follow me on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you. If you guys are looking to get better at Fortnite, click the link below and go to ProGuys.com where you can play with the best players in the world. Sign up for our membership at ProGuys and you're going to get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players like Benji and Mongrel. So if you want to compete in Fortnite, you have to check out ProGuys.com and be sure to drop a like on this video to show your support. We really do appreciate it. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and you already know what time it is. Get my favorite candy, that Bunch of Crunch. Man, I'm addicted to some Bunch of Crunch. About to have it today. Starting off with Raider, you know, we can instantly see that he's an incredibly fast editor. The first thing that most of us realize when we watch him playing, right? But what we see next is pretty interesting. Not only is Raider incredibly talented at speed, but he's also very intelligent. Watch him time this next edit. There, right there. Did you see that? Raider perfectly times his next edit to make it so that the platform that he's standing on doesn't break when the rest of his structure is shot down. This is a very useful and very underrated trick that is used by some of the best editors in the world. How it works is Raider basically times to edit so perfectly that the game messes up and doesn't crumble the floor that he's standing on. Oh my goodness. This trick is also really hard to do. Not only does it require timing, but it also requires constant editing. As soon as Raider stops rapidly editing the floor, it crumbles just like the rest of the structure. This means that you do not only have to time the edit perfectly, but you also have to keep editing the structure consistently without messing up. Obviously, not that many people can do this, <laughs> including myself, and it's just a good example of how great they are at editing. Another thing that really separates Raider is how short the period of time between his edits and the time he shoots is. His reaction time and chaining of multiple moves is like no other. Watch as he quickly edits this floor, leaving barely any time for the opponent to time a shot. Then as soon as the opponent makes the mistake of shooting the floor, Raider almost instantly shoots back and finishes the fight. These moves, my friends, are a sign that Raider isn't limited to just editing. Many players that are known for being fast editors tend to be solely fast editors, you know, and they're not necessarily the best overall players. Sure, they can pull off edits very quickly and just chain them together to make it look really cool, but can they use the moves intelligently in real game scenarios? That's another question. Not always, and that's something that Raider really deserves credit for. In fact, you know, a lot of his videos will see that his clips aren't just from creative, but rather public matches and real battle royale fights that end with him dominating using his editing tactics. All right, so taking a look at this next trick, we see Raider fighting an opponent that is below him. As soon as this opponent starts to push up, Raider runs over and places a floor and a cone above the enemy's ramp. This blocks off all control the opponent has over this area and gives Raider the full ability to edit and do whatever he likes to finish this guy off. We see him pull off a quick double edit and then reset the floor, similar to what he did in the last clip. He is essentially trying to get the opponent to shoot out the floor, giving him a free shot. What happens next is that the opponent pulls off the quick side jump, but Raider, being someone that's played a lot of creative, picks off an easy massive 108 damage shotgun shot, then continues to box in his opponent. At this point, you know, many people would try to either edit the ramp and shoot their opponent or, you know, like place a trap on their side and then edit to shoot their opponent while they're trapped on the other. What Raider does is much more interesting than these two, all right? However, Raider places a trap on one side and rotates his ramp towards the opponent, trapping him inside of Raider's box. All right, so like this just makes it impossible for the opponent to escape and gives Raider an easy elimination. This move is obviously very useful, so how come everyone doesn't do it? Well, that's because they're not advanced. And it's very hard to move to do it if you're not mechanically talented like Raider. 
The best way to learn how to do this is by going into a creative lobby with your friend and then just practicing placing traps on one side of a box and editing the ramp. This edit and button combination takes some time and it's gonna take, you know, some getting used to to practice, all right? So be sure to practice it a bunch of times. Okay, so here we see another situation that Razor handles similarly but in a different fashion. We can see that he's stuck in the storm and it is drinking shields while staying in his box. This is because there's an opponent right outside of his box pushing him. What Raider did before he boxed up was he placed a floor where his enemy was standing on. This is what we call a 200 IQ play, because Raider was essentially setting up a plan just in case the opponent decided to push him instead of running back into the circle. And as we watch, we see Raider confidently and swiftly go for an edit and place a trap at light speed. Wow. While at the same time, placing walls and a ramp around the opponent, trapping him inside the one by one with the the trap that Raider placed on the bottom. Not only does this tactic give him a great way to take out W Keyers, but it's also advanced in its own way. If you guys actually try to perform this move, you're going to see that it can be a bit harder to actually place a trap and then build a one by one in the short period of time that Raider did it. This is because Raider spends countless time practicing these moves and making them as fast as possible, making him one of the top editors in the world. But my question is, is he the best? Let's take a look at Serpent, AU, and let's find out. All right, so taking our first look at Serpent, we can see that he's an insanely fast editor. And when we say insane, like we really mean it like he's insane. Serpent has had many instances where he edits so fast that unexpected things just happen. Things such as like he's editing so fast that he's glitching off the map. Wow. To him editing platforms fast enough to not even touch them and just die to fall damage. My goodness. Yeah, that's right. I said fall damage. Take a look at this first clip as Serpent edits multiple floors at the speed of light, never even touching one and finally hitting the ground and dying to fall damage. It takes an incredible amount of skill to edit this fast, man, even if it's just a single edit. Now that we have, you know, like a general idea of who we're looking at, let's see how he stacks up in a real fight against real opponents. You guys ready? So looking at him editing, what we see first is how rapidly Raider edits multiple pieces at once. In this instance, he's editing a floor, pyramid, wall, and ramp all at once, while performing double edits, pyramid edits, and ramp flips all at the same time in a matter of seconds. He's also doing all of this while 1v1ing an actual opponent. <laughs> we said before how being able to edit fast is a whole different thing compared to knowing how to use edits effectively. Serpent does both, but he does it like he's on steroids. Serpent absolutely destroys it when it comes to being able to effectively edit while not only looking cool, but also making it hard to see what he's doing. We can see in this 1v1 that he's editing all four structures in the game at lightning fast speeds. While doing all of these edits, he's moving himself around his structures and changing his positioning to get a better angle on his opponent. Without his opponent even knowing where Serpent is, he finishes him off with a swift pump shot. We see many cool things in this tiny clip. First, Serpent edits so fast and effectively that his opponent doesn't even know Serpent's exact location. Second, Serpent does all of this calculation to position himself quickly in order to play for an angle on the enemy. All of this together gives this guy an easy shot that he takes willfully, finishing the fight in one complex and expert level move. All right, so in this next clip, we're gonna see something similar to what we saw Raider do before, but it's quite different. Serpent has a tendency to do complex and more showy edits than Raider. Oftentimes, we're gonna see Serpent doing multiple edit moves and tricks that others won't even attempt, and at an insanely fast speeds. This is what we see here. Serpent is busting out side piece edits at very fast speeds while in a public match, having his opponent cornered. He knows that he's in control over him since he owns the wall. What Serpent is doing by doing this rapid edit is that he's setting his opponent up to attempt to take a shot. This shot almost doesn't end up hitting Serpent because of how fast he's editing. And that's exactly what happens. The enemy shot breaks the wall and Serpent's reactions almost instantly by getting a clean shotgun shot off, finishing the fight. This is very similar to Raider's floor edits that we saw before. However, you know, what separated Serpent is the difficulty of his move and how much more talent it takes to do it this way. Overall, making for a more flashy and advanced way of doing the same type of move. Serpent's way also just makes it way more effective because opponents think that they have an open shot since the whole body is getting exposed instead of just a window. Now let's get into who is truly the better editor and why. So here we are after showing you guys these two amazing editors and some of their advanced tricks that make them as good as they are. We're now going to be taking one final look at these players in comparison to each other and ultimately choosing who's the best. 
Raider is a very intelligent editor, and he definitely knows what he's doing when facing up against another opponent, even ones that are very good. But the thing with Serpent is that he's absolutely incredible when it comes to mechanics. Serpent blows the competition away when it comes to speed and talent in terms of editing. Raider can be smart and pull off edits and building combos that most wouldn't even think of. But Serpent's ability to edit at the speeds that he does with the effectiveness that his moves have truly make this guy the best editor in the world. I mean, think about this. This guy broke the Fortnite map because of how fast his edits were. That's, that's crazy. All right, guys, once again, this is the Motivation Guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram. I'm posting up vids, man, to inspire you to not only be great in this game, but also in life. If you don't believe there's greatness inside of you, man, I'm telling you there is. There's greatness on the inside of you, and it's waiting to come out this season and this year. You got this. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to use code PROGUYS when you make any sort of purchases. You know, it just really helps us out, and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys thought about this video and what you like to see next. We aim to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel and show proguys.com some love for bringing you this video. All right, we'll see you next time.